Yep, a possum in my trash can. It probably jumped up on the cardboard box that's right next to it and got up in there and just went to take a nap. I don't know, maybe it was stuck. Maybe it couldn't get back out. But I put it out in my woods. It's going to be back. Um, the good thing is, is the chickens are locked up tight uh, at nighttime, so I don't think it'll cause any harm to the chickens. We'll just have to wait and see. I, I could not believe when I saw that thing in there. Anyhow, while I was out taking Papa for a walk, I found something. Can you see anything that doesn't look like leaves to you? Yeah, I almost missed them too. But... There is, well, there's a couple clusters. One cluster there and one cluster there. I can already tell those are past their prime. So I'm going to have a close look at these and see if there's anything that I can harvest. Actually, out of this cluster, this may... Yeah, a bug just came out of that one. I'm going to pull these and look on the underside and see. Oh, maybe. Let's kind of see what this cluster's all about. They don't have holes in their tops, so that's good. And, whoops, sorry. There might be a few that has bugs in it, but I think I'm going to be able to make some use out of some of these at least. Nah, there wasn't a single mushroom that was usable. They were infested, and um, I don't mind picking a bug or two out every now and then, but when they've got multiple larvae deep down in the folds between the gills, mm -mm, I ain't going to have it. So I'm going to look around a little bit more and see if I can find any more, and then uh, I got to get working on that rooster coop. I got to get it finished, so yeah, I, I need to get going. I've got four walls completely finished. Um, I added the wood to the back side of that, just whatever remnants I could find. So I'm trying to put it together, and what I'm finding is it's it's just not level, so it may fit together up at the top, but it's not fitting together down at the bottom. Um, I've tried to do everything I can to shim it up, and it's just, you know what, I think I'm just getting tired. I have lifted these pallets up and off of this and back on probably about five or six times already and it's heavy because remember the pallets are heavy themselves but I've added all this wood um, yeah that's what the back of that looks like so I'm just gonna go take a break get something to drink and see if I can get my second wind and uh, level that floor out I figured out a way to get those the bottom parts together um, it's gonna take a couple bolts here and there um, screwed in it creative ways but my drills battery is dead so I'm gonna have to wait till tomorrow to do that because it's overcast and it's not gonna charge very fast but I took this over to uh, Seth across the street Mr. Lucas son and he cut me out that door so now all I got to do is build a door um, and it's gonna be hinged this way so that I can pull it up and then bring it down and then uh, lock it in place and then on this side, there's going to be hinges so I can open the whole thing and crawl inside if I need to. But uh, this is as far as I'm going to be able to get today. Um, it took a lot to get that wall done because I had to cut all the pieces <laughs> the right size. But at least it's something. Well, looky here. Look at that big, long piece of wood. I do believe that the two of those, if I cut another one and put another one right there, that will be wide enough to make a perfect door. I'll just have to, have to join them together. But um, hmm, I wonder, I wonder if I could cut this with the bow saw. I'm pretty sure I can. I'm trying to avoid having to go back across the street because I'm tired. Yeah, I think it would be the best idea to remove the nails first. I have removed so many nails. Fun, fun. There we go. They're all out, with the exception. I can't get this screw out. I can't pull it out. I can't use the drill because it's got a funny top on top of it. So I just pounded it down. I don't even think I'm going to need to use that part. All right, let me see if I can cut this piece of wood. What do you think? I don't think I can do this with a chainsaw, but this is going to hold this pretty firmly for me. I think I'm going to be able to do this piece of cake.
they both fit perfectly this way, but I cut them <laughs> just a fraction of an inch too long. I mean, I think part of it is the wood, the edge slopes down this way. So what I need to do is just cut a little bit more off and I can easily do that. You just saw me. I mean, we're talking just like that much. And then I'm gonna join them together with little pieces of wood or something. Um, apply the hinges and the stop down there, the little lock, and I think we'll be good to go, but not today. Look at you guys, I did it. I did it today. I trimmed them up and the little trim pieces I put on there and I turned them the way that I have them. This is actually the top. This is the sawed off part because I like the little pattern on them. And plus the screws went in really easily. I guess it's okay, charged enough uh, for like shorter screws and shorter wood. Um, it's just the big wood. So that fits perfectly. All I need to do is get a couple hinges and then I'm gonna be able to open it and close it. And then I have to have some kind of locking mechanism at the bottom, so lick it. I made a chicken coop door. FedEx came and delivered me this huge box. I wasn't expecting this from Walmart. Um, also delivered the other rug, yes, from Sarah. So I'm going to crack into this right now and see what it is. Let's see what this is. Oh, this is taped really good. Oh my goodness. All right, let me open this. There we go. All right. Oop, brown paper. Love me. What? It's the scratch. It is the scratch that I had on my wish list. I don't, I'm wondering if, it has to be from Sarah because I don't think anybody else knows about my gift registry on Walmart yet. Oh my goodness, it's 40 pounds. I'm going to get into this because these babies... They're pacing. Ooh, look at this, you guys. I really like this scratch. When I get scratch from Tractor Supply Company, it's usually kind of powdery, almost some kind of like dust. <laughs> this doesn't have hardly any powder in it, just a tiny bit. Look at that. All these chickens are going to go crazy. Here you go, babies. Going to throw it up top. Oh, yeah. They dig it. <laughs> Big time. Ooh, I need to clean out their water bowl and give them some more. These are happy babies. Let's give Mama and her crew some. Hey, BBL, Rooster. <laughs> hey, Dovey. I'm not going to give them as much because they do not eat as much. But I'm going to scatter it around so they don't have to fight over it. Oh, yeah, they love it. Look at this beautiful, pretty sure rooster. Yeah, look at that tail. That's a rooster. That's going to be a heck of a rooster. Yes, Miss Roxy. You and your crew get some too. I hope you guys all laid me eggs today. And it's about time for you guys to start laying eggs. You're like 24, 25 weeks old. You need to start laying eggs except for you, <laughs> Rocky. Thank you so much, Sarah, for the rugs, for the chicken scratch, for the chicken feed. You can see <laughs> they all love it very much. I love having scratch to throw out for them, and they love it too. So thank you very, very much. And I have added the Walmart list. Li I can't talk. I'm so tired. The Walmart wish list to the banner on my channel and my about page. So you can go check it out if you want. Look at they are happy, happy chickens. I'll just be glad when I can get that rooster coop done in the rooster yard. I've got everything I need for it now. So anyway, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.